Hello and welcome to Lord of the Board. My name is Sam Smith and today we've got a very special guest again, round two. Katie's back. Hi. The lady of the board. <laughs> um, you know, I, I gathered, about, or gathered her up from the, from the nearby room, captured her. Now yeah, she's yeah. back. Um, we, we're going to do another video. Excited to be here. Yeah, this all happened because, like, you know, if you watched the previous video, 350 likes, we surpassed the goal, so we're doing a couple videos, and yeah. I'm just so stoked. Mm -hmm. um, today's video was inspired because there's two channels that we watched that did this video, and we love both of these channels, so definitely mm -hmm. check them out, watch their videos, mm -hmm. give them a follow, they're really cool. Yeah. But the video that we're going to be doing is if, you know, the world, well, this is the way that I like to put it. If the world, you know, was in an apocalypse Lost and everything is destroyed, mm -hmm. we, we are only choosing five holy games and the rest are going into eternal damnation. Essentially, only five games we get to choose. And those are the only That's five scary. games that we'll ever get to play again for the rest of our days. Um, so we've all, we've both chosen our five games. Mm -hmm. And then in addition, we've also put the five games that we think the other person put on their list. Yeah. So I guess we'll just start with, uh, the five games that we would choose to have forever awesome. and the rest just burn up. Yeah. Do you want to go first? I don't want to go first. Okay. I'll go first. So my first pick, and this one might come as a surprise, or it might not, is going to be Guy Project. The reason why... It's your number one game, or is this in any order? No, these are in any order. Oh, okay. Yeah, I mean, you'll know what my number one game is, but they're kind of in any order. I mean, I'm kind of starting from... Most difficult? Not really. <laughs> well, maybe. Uh, Gaia Project, though, I, I don't really, there's not really an order to these. Just the five games that I would grab. We're, mm -hmm. we're, not, we're not ranking okay, them or we're not anything. Ranking them. Don't make me do that no now. Way. Um, so just the five games that I would grab. Okay, why would I grab Gaia Project? I like Gaia Project because it's like an undiscovered game for me in a way. Because like I know that I could still learn new things. It's so mm -hmm. deep. It takes a lot of strategy. It's a very hard game to, to There's play. There's like 12 different... There's so many. 16, I think. 16 different factions yeah, or something like crazy. crazy like that. So the fact that there's all those factions is crazy. Mm -hmm. um, so I just feel like it's a, a, a huge... Uh, a lot of uncracked potential that I just want to dive into. If you don't know what Guy Project is, it's a very deep game. Um, essentially, you know, uh, build out your system, collect resources, spread. It's, it's a, a good, Euro game. Good space themed. Very game very too. good space themed game. It was uh, the spiritual successor to Terra Mystica. Yeah. If you didn't know, so it works pretty much the same way. But yeah, uh, that would be my 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 fifth pick, uh, Guy Project. Your fifth pick, so it is ranked. No, it's not ranked. I, that would just be my, my it's your first, first pick. It's just a pick. It's, it's one of the pick. five. Guy Project. All right, what was, what's yours? Well, now I feel... Now I don't know where to start with my just, list. We're not, we're not ranking them. We're just, just give me one. Okay, so my, my first pick, I chose Tapestry. Mm. Mm. I knew you, I, I had a feeling that was going to yeah. be on your list. I love tapestry because I love the, all the variation. You can get so many different types of gameplay, different strategies with the different boards and the different, what are they called? Oh, civilization mats? Yeah. The, the terrains? Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, so cool. And I love how beautiful it is too. Yeah. Tapestry is a great game. We really love it. Yeah, it's essentially a civilization builder. Mm -hmm. You know, you go around, you can go do like technology, science, war, or uh, um, exploration. And you're going down these different tracks and you're furthering your, your civilization. Yeah. It's a great game. So I, I I suspected that to be on your list, yeah. so. I suspected on yours as well. Yeah, yeah. All right, um, so my next one. This one's a little spicy. It might not okay. be that spicy. It's not that spicy. Uh, Empires of the North. Oh yeah. Yeah. I'm choosing Empires of the North because the base box comes with six different uh, sieves. What? 
We're just not, we're not talking just base box here. Oh, we're talking expansions too. Yeah, expansions I guess we should probably have clarified But this. I can't believe I didn't think of that. What? Wait, Tapestry does have an expansion. Tapestry does, plans and ploys. And we are very Anyway, out. sorry. So are we including expansions or not? We are. Okay, we're including expansions, but not if it's an expand alone. Meaning that if it's a separate game entirely, it wouldn't be included. It is included. It's a separate game. Well. Only if it's like an expansion, right? Just wait till right? you see my next game, then you'll see. Oh boy, okay. <laughs> so, Empires of the North, great game. They have a lot of different factions. It reminds me of Age of Empires 2, one of my favorite video games. Mm -hmm. And it's just like a really fun game. You know, you got like 30 cards, you're building out your tableau, you're activating all your abilities. We played it so many times. We've gotten a lot of games in it. I just feel like I wouldn't get tired of that game. Yeah. Every like, time we play it, it's a different experience. And so many different strategies that they have in the different factions too. Yeah. And it's so cute. So cute. It looks like a, I, this is a compliment, but it looks like a little Facebook game. Yeah. That's a compliment in a weird way. I usually don't like that artwork, but it just works for this I love game. all the cute, like pink penguins. Mm -hmm. Oh my gosh. I yeah. Love it. It's adorable. Uh, Empires of the North. Yeah. Good one. Whew. This is a hard list to make. <laughs> Sheesh. All right. My next game is of course Villainous. And all of the expansions that come We're, with it. They're expand alone, though. Okay, whatever. Yeah, we'll, we'll give you this to you. I'm not talking Marvel. Okay. Okay, so just Disney. All just the Disney. Disney villainous. Just Disney villainous. All yeah, because I feel like... We kind of want to play all the characters. Yeah, we'll have we'll have a two we'll have a twofold because technically, if you want to take this hardcore, we're still we would still pick these. Yeah. Even if we had to just take just the, base the base box, I but wouldn't for, choose the base box. For our villainous. for our brains, which box would you choose? The one with Doctor Facilier. Wicked to the core. Mm -hmm. Cool. That's the one I would have chosen. It's the best one. That's I That's the one I would have chosen. Diverse. That's crazy. Yeah. Only Hades sucks in that set. I like Hades. <laughs> I know, but. Uh, so yeah, so if you're looking at this list from just like a one game standpoint, which is kind of how the challenge goes, I think, um, we would still pick these same games, but to lighten our own brains, we're kind of including the expansions because it hurts too much to say no to those. Yeah, I'm including it. It hurts expansions. too much, okay? So we know, we know what you would choose. Villainous is great. You've seen oh, it on the channel a dozen times. It, it's everywhere. Uh, um, the Disney theme. Disney theme. Yep. The art in that is also really the great. The art is excellent. The remastered old movies. Such good artwork, so yeah. Good. The redone. They could have just chosen pictures from the game. Or from yeah, sorry, from pictures movie, from like the movies. Screenshots. But instead, traditional artwork redone of the stills mm -hmm. of the movies. Yeah, so beautiful. It's really, really good. And the gameplay's fun. It's asymmetric, so very replayable. Mm -hmm. All the all the villains are very different. Yeah. Great choice. I, I like that choice. Um, my next one is actually pretty darn new mm -hmm. to me. I haven't played it very many times. I just got it. But that shows you how confident I am that this game would, like, I'd want to keep playing it, and I just don't think I would get tired of it. Merchant's Cove. Merchant's Cove. Mm -hmm. Yep. This is, a, this is a new game to us, um, but it's, a, once again, a highly asymmetric game. So you're seeing a theme here in my, <laughs> my picks. Highly asymmetric game. Everybody's playing their own, essentially a mini game. Like the blacksmith is playing a dice rolling game. The alchemist is playing a, essentially potion explosion, which is just a marble combination. And um, the, the chronomancer is doing tile laying. The captain is doing explorations, has a little spinner. It's really cool. And then, uh, yeah, if we're not including the expansions, you know, there's also awesome expansions with a Roland White, uh, Roland Wright Oracle mm -hmm. and some other cool things. There's just so many cool things. And the game, just even the base box, it has so much like replayability because you can you can play one of you know your own game, and then by the time that you went around playing all four characters, you could just go around again. And I think that the characters in and of themselves have enough strategy to where I could totally replay the same one. Yeah, because even after we played, there were so many different things that we would change mm -hmm. to uh, optimize the strategy. Yeah, you know? for the next game. Yeah. And that's yeah. only one part of the strategy, because then there's the market itself. Like, all these little merchants are coming in to try and buy your goods. And, you know, playing the market has its own strategy, too. So, yeah. Merchant's Cove, brand new game, really and I haven't even played it a lot, but I know that it would be on the list because I just know that I would just not get tired of playing that. Yeah. I mean, love that. Love it. And it's also my third pick, so. 
Wait, for real? Yeah. <gasps> wow, <laughs> dude. Merchant's Cove, my friends. Yeah. Woo! Yeah. It was a good game. Great we artwork really, in there, really too. really enjoyed great artwork, yeah. And we really enjoyed it. Like, we were just thrilled yeah. after we played it a couple times, just right in a row. So, yeah, yeah awesome game. Let's play. Let's play okay. soon. Okay. Okay. Yeah. Soon. It's a good game. Yeah. Okay, uh, so, so it's my pick again. Your pick again. Okay. We're getting close to the end here. We're getting close to the end. This is the one that I think that you're not going to expect on this list. Yeah? Yeah, I think so. You might. You might. So my my next pick is going to be Vast the Crystal Caverns. Oh yeah, I was not expecting that. So there is a specific reason why I'm choosing this game. One, because this game still to this day has an experience that is like unmatched in like uniqueness. <laughs> yeah, unmatched. Um, it is one of the most unique experiences that you can have. If you get people that actually learn these factions, that, that want to play these factions, they, this is the most asymmetric game you can possibly have. Still, still. Yeah. Even more asymmetric than Merchant's Cove. Still. Because everybody has a completely different goal. They're all trying to kill each other. They all work completely differently. This game got me into asymmetric games and it really started the gateway to asymmetry in gaming in general, like mm. deep asymmetry. I mean, there's always been asymmetry, but yeah, just crazy. So Vast the Crystal Caverns, if you can get the right people to play it, it is an experience that is just, it's amazing. Yeah. Yeah. And I just think that I would never get tired of learning all the different characters because they are completely different. Yeah. And the theme is really good too. The theme is very good. Dungeon crawling. You can never go wrong. Mm. All right. All right. What's your next pick? All right, so my next pick Cassie. is... Cat just appeared. This is the one that you're also not gonna, I think, think of. My next pick is actually Horrified. <laughs> yeah, because... Horrified! Yes, because I love co-op games, actually, and I needed to have one. And another thing that I also really love is, like, matching the games to the time of year. And mm. so I needed a Halloween game. There's a lot of different ones to choose from. I also really like the Hocus Pocus one. Mm -hmm. Is it called Hocus Pocus? Mm -hmm. Yeah, I like That's that one game. too. But Horrified for is the yeah. Co-op play. I like Horrified. I do not like co-op games, but Horrified is bearable. Yeah. Yeah. I like it a lot. I actually like Horrified. Yeah, and the bit. Universal Monsters. So cool. The so artwork's cool. really good. The colors and stuff are really good in that game. Mm-hmm. That one doesn't have an expansion, right? No. Not it yet. deserves one. Not yet. It deserves an expansion. We need it. <laughs> we need a horrified expansion. Oh Pascal, you're going crazy. Oh, I'm over here. Just throwing our cat away. <laughs> 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 this next one's coming as no surprise to anybody. It's actually not a surprise. I bet you our last picks are no surprise to yeah. anyone <laughs> at this point. So my last pick mm -hmm. is going to be Root, obviously. Of course. It's my favorite game of all time. Mm -hmm. Asymmetric war game with uh, different woodland factions. This has some of the best artwork out there. Kyle Farron is a genius. Uh, Cole Worley, the designer, is a genius. Mm -hmm. The production is genius. This is my favorite game of all time. I love it. You already know that if you watch this channel. This comes as literally no surprise. No, but it's great. Best game out there, in my opinion. All of these picks are asymmetric games. All <laughs> okay, I was strategic with this. If you think about it, I've got 16 different games with Gaia Project, with the different factions. Mm -hmm. There's 16, I don't remember if I was right. I've got five different games with Fast the Crystal Caverns, because they're completely different games. I've got six different games with Empires of the North, not including any of the expansions, which would double. I've got four different faction or different games with Merchant's Cove, not including the expansions. We add even more, mm -hmm. um, or including the expansions. And then Root, we've got four different games, and then including the expansions, we have even more. So I'm set. I mean, I've got so many different games. You can play all these different points of view of the same game, and it feels mm -hmm. like a different game. Yeah. So. That's my last pick, Root. Best game out there. You know I love it. It's great. Yeah, that's a great pick. And of course, my last pick... Everdell. You know, it's true. I, I love Everdell. It. I knew it! It's the cutest game out there. All the cards are so cute. The board is so cute. And... 
It's a cute game. <laughs> <laughs> it's beautiful, really. It is. It really it's is. It's an engine builder. That's a good word for it. A tableau something. Tableau building. Yeah. You're building a tableau of cards, you know. Your your city. Yeah, your city. Your city. Yeah, it's adorable. It's adorable. You really come up with a story in your head as you play. It's a good game. It's a good game. I I like it, Rodell. And the expansions when you can sit on the big animal. Yeah. Yeah, Spirecrest is good. It adds a bunch of elements in. You're right. You're that the right. base game doesn't have. It really is. It really is a good one. I know. You'd still pick it even if you didn't and get the expansion. And Pearl Brook is actually good too. Pearl Brook is my favorite expansion, which is probably a spicy take. Because a lot of yeah. people didn't really like Pearl I'd Brook. I like Spirecrest. To all of those that don't like Pearl Brook, what are you doing? Why? Pearl Brook is great. The water. It is good. Yeah. Both expansions are great. Both expansions are great. But you'd still pick it anyways. Yeah, even if it was just the base game. We played the base game tons of times tons before of times. we even got yep. the expansions. Totally. Yeah, so good. Everdell's a winner. That's a good game. That's crazy. That's so perfect. five games. Let's sum up what your five games are. I kind of summed up summed up mine. Gaia Project, Vast, uh, and the Crystal Caverns, or Vast Crystal Caverns, Empires of the North, Merchant's Cove, and Root. And yours? Mine were... Um, Everdell, Tapestry, Horrified, Villainous, and Merchant's Cove. We totally said ours like in a weird order, yeah, but our lists are the way that we just read them, <laughs> and that's just, uh, uh, somehow how our brains work. I don't know. We're very it. similar. Okay. Yes. Are you going to say what you thought mine were Yes. Be? So we, we, we actually did a little extra thing, um, which, uh, some of the other videos did too. This is pretty fun. So we chose games that we thought the other person would choose, and we're just gonna see how many we each got correctly. So I wrote down the five games that I thought were gonna be on your list. Okay. Do you wanna do you wanna start? Sure. So I thought you were gonna choose, of course, Root. Yep. And that's the only thing I think I got right. Because, really? Yeah, I thought you were gonna choose Wingspan. Good, good And call. that's such a good one. I'm sad I didn't choose it because I thought you were going to choose it. Well, I don't know if we're necessarily... I mean, I mean, we're going to stay together, but I don't know if necessarily like, we can use each other's games if we have to choose five. I know. I just wanted to feature it because I love Wingspan. I love Wingspan, too. And it was really hard for me not to put Wingspan on there. The only reason why I didn't put Wingspan on there is because, to me, it's technically the same type of game when you get into it. It's not like asymmetric. Like I don't yeah. play a different faction in it, but you do True. get completely different cards. I love Wingspan. Like Wingspan's very high on like my top games of all time. Mm -hmm. So. I like it even better with the Nectar. Yeah, the Nectar makes it really, really fun. Yeah, great game Wingspan is. Wow, so you put Wingspan on there, okay. Mm -hmm. Okay. I thought you were gonna choose Tapestry, but I think you didn't choose it because I chose it. I did kind of know that you, that you were gonna choose Tapestry, yeah. It's a great game. I love Tapestry so much. Ah. And then I thought you were going to choose Pendulum because we already talked about it. And I almost chose it because it's such a different type of game. It is such a good game. Yeah. And so it'd be fun to like have a fast paced game mm -hmm. too. Yeah. A real time game. Like literally real time. Yeah. I was thinking about putting it on my but list no, just because of how fun. fun it really is. And those ones are also asymmetric. The factions in Pendulum are different, like very different. The tracks. That was five? No, and then I thought you were going to choose Scythe. It was so close. I was going to put Scythe in there. I was going to. It, in fact, I think that Gyro Project and Scythe are interchangeable. Yeah. On this list. I actually think they might be because I really like Scythe. And it's another game that I feel like is just uncracked potential. Like, I could play that game. It's so deep and so fun. And mm -hmm. I had such good experiences playing yeah. it with Kelton and with everyone. Like, it's a great game. Honestly, Gaia Project and Scythe might be interchangeable. I'm going to give you that point. I'll give you that point. Because really, it was so hard. I got two points. Yeah, you got two <laughs> points. I won. Yeah. I might have won. But you're was, so obvious. I didn't Not try to be different. I didn't try to be I different either. I was true either. to myself. I was... Oh, <laughs> whoa, called out. I was true to okay, myself. Okay, what did you think? We both put Merchant's Cove on there. It's a great but you game! you didn't guess Merchant's Cove! How did you not know that I wouldn't put it? I didn't guess Merchant's Cove for you. Okay, so the, the games that I put on the list... Everdell. Mm -hmm. Bing, that's one for me. Tapestry. Bing, that's two for me. I put Above and Below. Yeah, I didn't. I love Above and Below, but I haven't played it for a long time. That's what so. I thought. I thought you were gonna like... Because I felt like you would want to play it more if you could. I because I know that you love the story elements and all that, but... You don't love it. I do love it. 
I was gonna put it on mine. Really? I was for. Oh, a hot we second. should really play it. I really like Ryan Lockett's it's Jeff's games. Favorite they were kind game. of. It is Jeff's favorite game. Megaland. That was kind of a weird one. I know, I know, I know. I was just trying to think of the games that you really like liked. Like Megaland was the one that you were really hyped about yeah, when we but played you a long like time it, ago. So. I maybe like Megaland. I... Man, you really don't think I like a lot of games. Because <laughs> <laughs> never ever gonna be like. Hey, yeah. No. It's it's just like it's it's one that's like a little too simple for us now. Yeah. But I like it as a game to like bring people into the hobby for sure. Like a second game or you know. It was the first game that I ever saw that had game trays. Yeah, and game trays. We got obsessed with game heart. trays from Megaland. Yeah, mm -hmm. that's true. My last pick was Villainous, so three points three for points. me. Three points for me, two points for you. That was really good. Yeah. That was really good. That was really fun. I like that. I, yeah. I think that I immediately want to change all my picks. No. <laughs> <laughs> I know, don't hold me to that don't list. Don't hold me to my list either, but it's fine. We did good. Yeah. We did good. I love all five of those games. So all other games in our collection and like our hundred and frickin' whatever number we have, <laughs> they just all caught on fire right now. They just all burnt up. So we sad. only have our five games over there. This is life. But awesome. that that is it. That is all we've got for you today. Um, it's been really fun. Yeah. To, to come back on here and do another video. Um, we'll probably have another video somewhat you know, definitely follow me on Twitter, follow me on Instagram. Uh, if you're following me on one of those, we're gonna be doing polls to figure out if we're gonna, you know, what type of video we wanna do next. So, mm -hmm. links in the description, you know where to find them. You know, any last words? Thanks for watching. <laughs> yeah, thank you guys for watching. Thank you so much. But that is it for the video. Let's go ahead and drop the beat.